Also, I'm looking forward to watching Halloween stuff, Law, in terms of anime. Okay. Cool. Did you, uh, have you, uh, have you gotten a chance to see Dura... Dura Rara? I have no idea how you pronounce that at all. Like, none. You can get in a Sephiroth. The one, yeah, Dura, yeah, that one, that that one. However, you shares it, that one. There you go. Okay, attack power is actually doubled, which is very great. Nice. Have not seen it. Okay. Because you told me about it yesterday. Well, how? Well, I don't know how. You could have. Well, you could have. There was time. I mean, I don't know, horse. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heal Jessica right now. Like, it's past, the, well, you know how late it is now for me? And I woke up at like 6.30 to get ready to go to school. Oh, okay, I didn't realize that was that late. Like, I genuinely didn't know time zones. I haven't really looked into it. I probably should have. You know, it would be nice if, why don't, here's my question. Why don't like social media or like sites like Discord and stuff have like a universal clock that would tell you what time the other person is typing in, if that makes any sense. Like, that would be a very useful tool. Because there are, because unless you're gonna go over to google.com really fast and quickly type in time zones and then look at it, you know, it'd just be way more helpful if like Discord just displayed that information and just like, you know, uh, of course, of course, like, of course, like, you know how much of a pain that that is? I thought it would just be like... Wouldn't it just be like location based? Like doesn't like doesn't Google already do that where like it can tell what time zone you're in?
I don't know. But it's super annoying to make. Okay. That looks cute. That looks just like you, too. That's what I was going for. Cool. Created me with a throwaway character prepared for the course. Yeah. Time zone goes in hours. Plus 30, 15 minutes. Okay. Not every time zone changes as one at once. Wait, they don't? I thought they were somewhat synchronized. But... Rapthorn is defeated. Which makes playing intentional meetings a international meetings a pain. Okay. Okay, so he just melted. The spells affecting the party miraculously wear off. The party is fully healed. Oh, that's a glitch. That that fixed itself, okay. What exactly happened? I'm not sure, everyone. I am very much unsure. Well, I guess that's it. Bye, Felicia. This doesn't look good. Oh, we've got to get out of here. Okay, so that's what happened. The dungeon is now falling apart because there's no Rapthorn to keep the party, to keep the whole thing together. Makes sense. Also, yesterday we beat the boss. Cool, in the D&D game? And while being alone, uh, the other player killed a dragon. Wait, just by himself? Oh my god, that's a pretty badass. That, that is a pretty badass story to tell at the... So that went from level 5 to 10. Okay. The hell kind of shitty half-ass mini-boss are you? I have a feeling that Insulate is gonna help here. See, me thinks Insulate is, uh, screaming my name right now. Um, I could go ahead and kabuff everyone, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Even more Insulation. Holy shit, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot. The party is now enveloped in a stop light, though, so that should help against the fire, dude. Though I have won fights before that I shouldn't have. Because of, like, critical successes or whatever, I'm assuming. Crap, wrongly.
Haha, <laughs> your flame breath does nothing against my installation. Good thing I good thing I install good thing I installed the in Damn it, I was gonna do a homeowner's joke, but it didn't come out right. It really did not roll off the tongue very well. Uh Yeah, about that fire you're trying to blaze. Three bonus feet. Oh my god. <laughs> Five levels is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot in any game, especially an RPG like this. To be honest. Wait, you want to have five levels? No, Mike was talking about his D, about like, about about like D and D and stuff. But... Oh, yeah, I wasn't catching that so much because I was on the phone with Dad. That's okay. Aww. For the little two-year-old playing the game right now. I'm literally making the tech guys closing all doors and everything. Cool. Go, the dancing flame is now dead. Oh, we got Bandit's grass skirt for all that trouble. Wait, 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 wait. And now it's just a matter of figuring out a way out of. I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to go. Well, hopefully we can figure out the way. Oh, there's the way. 
complete. And let's take our full heal before we leave. Because I'm sure we'll need it. Wait, what? Um. Um. Uh, not the way out? Maybe we need to run around again? I don't get this. I really am not sure. Um. In fact, you could. I guess you could say I'm a little bit discombobulated. Can't go through there. I don't get this. I'm really not understanding. Now can we leave? Yes, now we can actually... Oh, but we have to fight a bunch of... Yeah. You have to fight yourself. Yeah, apparently. That's interesting. I would never want to fight myself, but yeah, this is weird. This is just weird. Because how can you win that or lose that through? Go multi heal.
There we go. Wow, those statues don't appear to be that strong. Yeah, they are. Which is like cool. I didn't, last time I looked, there was a four of them. And now there was one. Is a statue grin? I don't know. That, that's a very good question. Next time we go shopping, we can get like a small cushion that we can attach to the back, like right there. Okay. Because right now, a jacket is nice Yeah. Okay. Except I'm um, not leading straight on to metal. Yeah. Like, the main reason we got this chair was because it had a cushion for my butt. Wasn't even thinking about needing a cushion for my back. Yeah. Well, you. Well, we could get you an Epsom salt bath later today. I hey, help. Hey. In the long run, it will help for kids just to get it like cushion. Stuff. Yeah. Wait, what? What the hell? What on earth? What's a mouse pad? Oh, my wrist. Not okay. one of those mouse pads that has way too much padding. Those ones are. I've used one of those before. It actually caused a worse pain. Okay. There. This is like. This is kind of becoming a boss rush, isn't this? Because here's the first boss of the game, just revamped and made to Well, actually, no, this isn't the first boss. This is later. This is when you get onto the first boat. Yeah, that's the fight. Okay. Uh, accelerate is a good idea. The buff is good. Cool, they weren't actually that tough, it turned out. Okay. Now 
now, just go ahead and full heal Jessica. There we go. Do 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 do. Okay, Falcon Slash. Dab. Bell. Dab. It should be dead pretty soon. Especially if we keep hurling massive fireballs at it. There we go. Yeah, I still drew. That's actually pretty useful. Earth is going on now. How come? Here's my question: Was Rapthorn expecting to die? Because it seems to me like all of like you must have the worst security system ever, because all of your defenses turned on after you were murdered. I'm just saying, you know, maybe rethink your security plan if it only works after you die. You see? Oh my gosh! What the fuck? What? Of what? The ruins itself, apparently. Uh, according to game. What the? Okay. I mean, if it's a boss rush, that means the next big boss is probably going to be the final. Okay. Because usually, you save the boss rush for the last. Makes sense. At least in most, uh, you know, it's good. <laughs> yeah. Mega Man. Yeah. But yeah, wouldn't that wouldn't that be a wouldn't that be like a just the worst security system? Imagine if you had a security system where your alarm only turns on in your house after you've been killed. Oh yeah, that's gonna keep me safe. Oh boy. Oh boy! Yeah! Yeah, I think I think I I think Rapthorn's ultimate fail was uh, apparently cheaping out on the uh, evil evil villain insurance plan. I swear. Oh my god! As mistake was. Hiring Dr. Eggman for the security. Yes! Oh my god! Well, no, if he hired Dr. Eggman for the security system, we would have had Metal Overlord right here. True. Oh yeah, let me go ahead and turn on song request stuff. Let's we'll go ahead over to Nightfall really fast.
me like this show, it's silly. Aww, it sounds like a cute show. Go ahead. It's about a kid versus a, a cat versus a kid. That's silly. That is very silly. Go ahead and frizzle and full heal. And the cat is an evil genius. That's even sillier. And it has like gadgets and stuff. Okay. Yes, he's a silly. Aww. I am fully heal the main. Here we go. Wonder how much HP this thing has. Apparently, quite a lot. Well, the defense went down a little bit. That should help. Also, the cat is rolling a uh, cannon in part of the intro. That's silly. That's so silly. And cute. How is it still alive? This is just an HP sponge fight. That's all this is. It's just one giant HP sponge. Really, all it just boils down to. Um, you're gonna have to do the thing again. There you go. And full heal the main one again. Please, just die. Good grief. Oh, yeah, one of them zooms. Oh, by the way, uh, Ge Geo Gross Grossology is like, it's a bit of a weird show. Okay.
Assuming that can cover both attacks. Bottom of which here, that would be So as good as this cushion is for here and long times of sitting, it's not that great. Okay. It's still better than a metal chair. True. Yeah, it's good. It's at least okay for a for a just a temporary chair. Also, it is weirdly ominously quiet. Each episode of the series follows the pair on uh, ventures based on real scientific facts, aided by their friend Labrat, a human scientist. Their boss, the director, and their and the uh, and their police, their police liaison, the detective at, uh, and Abby work to keep the city safe, all while keeping their their identities hidden. And Abby are in teen brother and sister crime fighting team who report to the Bureau of Crossology, secret government agency whose job is. To investigate gross criminals, their gross crimes, and/or various gross phenomena. Okay. Wait, I can't go that way either. Where the hell? Game. This is awkward. I don't know where the game expects me to go from here. Did I miss something? I don't see any. Do you see any staircases or anything I can use? Because I don't see any walkable path. Just weird. At least it's unique. True. Hello, Gamer Tree. Welcome to the live stream. Glad to have you here. Lovely, LB Jubbly. Yeah, does anyone see any clear walkways or a path? Something? I don't see anything. Like at all. And nothing showing up on my map. This is supposed to be the way, but uh, according to the map, this is the right way to go. Uh, according to my own two eyes. Uh, you know. <clears throat> yes, in the distance, I see them. In the distance? What? Uh, I'm first person. Uh, there's absolutely nowhere to go from this step. Was an event supposed to trigger when we feed the boss or something? Do I, like, reboot and load up a save state to try and fix the game? I don't know. I am- I'm not- I'm gonna- I'm sure, right? I literally don't see anything. At all. I don't see any connecting bridges, I don't see any connecting staircases. There's just- nothing's here, there's just nothing. Unless I'm supposed to call up the Godbird stuff, you think I'm supposed to call up the Godbird stone? That's the only thing I can think to do. Well, if you're invisible to the sky, that's what I would think. Not that the game was at all. Okay, so that's what we were supposed to do. Some, yeah, you were just supposed to use the Godbird stone to get the hell out. All right. Yeah, I would figure for escaping, it wouldn't make you retrace the entire. But that's literally what they were having me do up until now. True. So weren't you mostly inside that for most of that time? True. As soon as they got you outside, they were like, okay, no more progressing backwards, just clock. You may not be ready for this area, 
Hello, hello, Johnny B. Welcome to the live stream. Glad to have you here. Lovely, lovely job with you. Kari saving the day again. Yay! By the way, hello, Johnny B. Welcome to the live stream. Glad to have you here. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. What the hell? This right here is nightmare fuel. I that, is that voice. The final boss? That voice. Has come. You should hear this guy's voice. It will bring the two worlds together as one. Honestly, if a guy if a guy in a horror movie had that voice you wouldn't even need the guy to come out with the Jason mask or anything you know just literally just have that and they just die from hearing his voice just just that while you're just in a okay, dark I alleyway hear it now I'm waiting until he says something else because okay Oh god. <laughs> that is such a silly voice! That's just what? Oh my god. Good lord. Oh, I remember this part. Oh god, there's another- there's an entire another thing where we have to get a carpet. No! Oh, no comment. But yeah, I think we need to get a magic carpet after this, don't we? Oh, god damn it. I remember now, after you get the god bird. The thorn has opened the door between the world of light and the world of darkness. I was able to come through, but in or do you world, ride on the bird? Hordes I could have sworn there was a carpet at the end of the game. Unchecked, his evil minions will exterminate every living being in this world. Exterminate! 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 Sorry, I was joining in. Oh no, it's okay. Come here. Just find a grass. Thorn has already assumed his full physical form. Matters have gone beyond sealing him away now. Our only recourse is to defeat him in battle. It is the only way to save our world, now that he has become so powerful. But the chances of defeating him are slim. You are our only hope. You have the blood of a chosen one in your veins. Within you, there shines a glimmer of light. But in his current state, Rapthorn is protected by a mighty shield. Oh, we need to get a special staff as well and a carpet. Oh, why didn't my brain remember that at all until now? I thought we were at the end of the fucking game. Fuck! We must first break it down, for it renders him impervious to harm. Hold out your hand.
is the echo flute. What? Just reading comments and stuff. If we are able to penetrate Rapthorn's shield alone, we will need help. The help of the seven sages, the brave souls who sealed Rapthorn away uh -huh. long ago. I can feel them. Their will is strong. They have returned to help us to defeat the Lord of Darkness once and for all. They have taken the form of seven magical orbs, each containing the power of one sage. Use the flute. It will aid you in finding them. They are scattered around the world, but you must bring them together. Oh, it was a flute, not a staff. If you are near an orb when you play the flute, it will answer you with an echo. So now we need to go find orbs. Just as there were seven sages, now there are seven orbs. Okay, what is with uh, what is with Square Enix? And their boner for the number seven. What what is with Square Enix? So so in Mario RPG we have the Legend of the Seven Stars. In this game we have seven sages, seven orbs. Why don't we just put seven fucking dildos? Just fuck it. I mean they got. A, I mean clearly Square Enix got a boner for seven. So, so yeah. why not? You must gather. Can you say that verb? Seven. Before yes, returning to me here. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, jeez. Now I can't get that image out of my head. Oh, God. I'm imagining that giant bird with seven... I, too, have something I must find. <laughs> so I must go. Yeah, she probably would mind. <laughs> There is little time. We must hurry. Luminati symbols. Yes, it's owned by the Luminati. The Square Enix is secretly owned by the Luminati. Confirmed. We, we. Luminati. Can be found to the southeast in Fairbury. Okay. Alright then, well... I hear something stucky. What? I think my headset's starting to die. Oh, that does suck. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and save my progress. Cause honestly, after all of that... Yep. I think we made a decent bit of progress in this game, to be fair. Let us go ahead and end things off. Got we? That was like a nice stop. Like, the cable needs to be in certain spots for it to work. Yeah, then the cable's starting to die. Because, yeah, because that means that there's a loose connector, and what's actually happening is that when you get the cable into that right spot, it's causing the, uh, connect- it's causing the, uh, the broken connection to basically close. So, yeah. No. No, I'm good. I'm good.